So beats or yeah, result and amplitude path or gilia, other we have completed here. And the result and amplitude formula and n1 plus n2 by 2 is equal to n input. And the result and amplitude formula 2a cos 2 pi n1 minus n2 by t 2 into t poto. So in the points la this result and wave sound wave amplitude maximum arco and minimum arco. Now here when this amplitude is plus or minus 2a, the amplitude is maximum. Appa plus or minus 2a and then the formula a we consider 2a cos 2 pi n1 minus n2 by 2 into t then this cos of this value should be equal to plus or minus 1. If the whole value is plus 1 or minus 1, then the amplitude maximum. Appa if this is the case then 2 pi n1 minus n2 by 2 into t will be equal to m pi. Where m is equal to in the condition la than the resultant wave the amplitude maximum arc. But here the, again I am going to simplify this. In the pi pi cancel pan it. Then 2 2 gets cancelled. What is the remaining? N1 minus N2 into T is equal to M. From this we will find out the time interval. From this formula, what is T? T is equal to M okay in the pi the denominator ma M by n1 minus n2. So now first the first wave form at time t1 equal to 0. By now first m equal to 0 put in what happens m equal to 0. m equal to 0 put in the first time interval t1 equal to everything goes 0. First m equal to 0 everything in 0 then then m equal to 1 put t2 1 by n1 minus n2 then m equal to 2 pod then t3 is equal to 2 by n1 minus n2 clear now i will find out the time interval between two successive maxima and the adutha first maxima inga form aguduna adutha maxima inda time interval la form aguda so rendu successive maxima ku nadula inna time interval paakalam so what is t2 minus t1 idhilendhu idha minus panna you will be getting 1 by n1 minus n2. Either end the minus panya you will be getting what is t3 minus t2? Otherwise, you will be getting 1 by n1 minus n2. So I can write this difference in frequency n1 minus n2 equal to 1 by t2 minus t1. So in the alone, that this frequency difference will be equal to the reciprocal of the time interval between two successive maxima. So, the difference in frequency time interval depend on. So, this difference in frequency will be equal to the reciprocal of the time interval between two successive maxima. Adutthadutth maxima varu successive na adutthadutth. Adukki equal a arukkoon solli prove pannya aachchit this one. Adhe maartha we will see when does the resultant amplitude is minimum. So, resultant amplitude minimum a arukkoon na this resultant amplitude a equal to zero a arukkoon. That means cos 2 pi n1 minus n2 by 2 into t will be equal to 0. Apti end the other anak. Apti this 0 mark na the 2 pi into n1 minus n2 by 2 into t will be equal to 2m plus 1 pi by 2. In the condition of satisfy pannum bodhu tha, I will be getting this amplitude to be minimum. Apti again here, pi pi, this 2 to gets cancelled. Yenak vendi yad inna t tha. So remaining inna n1 minus n2 into t is equal to 2m plus 1 into pi by 2 varu. But t, if I want to find out t, n1 minus n2 on the side kundu pa illama by 2 into n1 minus n2. So this is the t formula. Ipp, where m is equal to inna, m value is 0, 1 comma, 2 comma, it goes on like this. Inge m ag bala first 0 podu. What happens when m equal to 0? That time interval then m equal to 1 then m equal to 2 m equal to 0 pota, 0 0 0 plus 1 is 1 Apo 1 by 2 into n1 minus n2 so t1 is 1 by 2 into n1 minus n2 then m equal to 1 pota, 1 into 2 2 2 plus 1 3 so t2 is equal to 3 by 2 into n1 minus n2 then you put m equal to 2 4 5 so this t3 is equal to 5 by 2 into n1 minus n2. 
Now I am going to find out the time interval between two successive minima. In the end, to the time interval calculate panna. T2 minus T1. This is the minus one. Common is 1 by 2 into n1 minus n2. Common is the minus one. This is the minus one. 3 minus 1 is 2. So if you want, you can do it here. So 1 by n1 minus n2 common is the common. This is the common. 1 by 2 into n1 minus n2 common is the common. This is the balance. 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. So 2 is the same. 2 is the same. Remaining in never come. So, this is the minus one. I will be getting 1 by n1 minus n2. That is the t3 minus t2. t3 minus t2 is equal to again you will be getting 1 by n1 minus n2. So, here also the, for this condition where the resultant amplitude is minimum, we will be getting the difference in frequencies will be equal to the Reciprocal of the time interval between two successive minima. Reciprocal of the time interval between two successive minima. So, whether it is maximum or minimum, we can answer the answer. So, these two are the two special cases where the resultant sound wave's amplitude is maximum and its amplitude is minimum.